and welcome to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's just a little podcast I suppose on what I've been up to in the last week or so. I haven't managed to get as many video tutorials out as I planned because I've been totally consumed by one pattern I've been designing which didn't work out how I wanted it to do in the end so I put it to one side, I haven't scrapped it i put it to one side and I've come up with something else and I've created another shoulder snug. I love these shoulder snugs because they just pop over your head, keep your arms free, you don't feel too constricted with jumpers and cardigans but they do keep the chill off your shoulders and they're brilliant for me because then I can continue doing my crochet designing and I don't feel as if I'm too hot or jumpers get in the way and I thought I'd make another one. This is the yarn I was going to plan on making the other design so rather than put it all to one side I unpicked all that work I did and made it into this because I hate waste so I thought I would use that for this. So this is a Stylecraft Aran yarn I used and I love the Stylecraft special because it comes in 100 gram balls and the colours, the colour palettes are amazing. There's like loads and loads and loads of different colours. This one is the parchment. I love this colour because it'll go with quite a lot of the things that I wear. The beauty about design and crochet patterns I'll get to wear the prototypes I suppose. So I've now got a collection of three of these snugs now. So in blue and pink and now in this parchment colour. I've called it the honeycomb shoulder snug because the pattern, the holes in the pattern reminds me a little bit of like honeycomb so that's why I've called it that. Now this one's slightly longer than the other two I made, the other two came to about there so it's about three inches longer than the other two and it just comes to the crease on my arm so it still leaves my arms and hands free to do whatever I'm doing and the warm enough I think to pop on and even go out in the autumn the autumn cold weather that we're getting now without having to put a coat on it's really snug and I've made the 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 like neck the ribbon on the neck higher too on this one so it comes to about the top the top of your shoulders and it's a lovely like elasticated ribbon the way the stitch is made so it's like quite elasticated so it's got quite a lot of give in it and I'll just turn Mabel this is Mabel yeah. I'll just turn Mabel around and show you the back so it comes up quite high at the back keeps your neck nice and your shoulders nice and warm and then I finished it off with three rows of popcorn graduated popcorn so I've started off large medium and small and just added that just to give it that little bit of weight so when it hangs it drapes lovely with that weight on the bottom there and also I was so frustrated with the last design that I was doing that I put to one side which, which did incorporate popcorns I thought right I'm going to add some popcorns to this if it kills me so that's why I've added them too just to remind me of the week of design uh, frustration I suppose you could call it but I will be going back to that design that I had planned and I will be going back to it this week and I'm planning on using Stylecraft Special Aran again but in this lovely sage colour it's I don't know whether you can see it's like a um, green but it's got a tint I would say of blue so it's not like a, a proper green green like this one here this is khaki so if you put them together they do look quite different this is like the really dark khaki green and this is like I say it's got a, tin a tinge of blue but it is more green than blue and this is called sage so I'm going to be doing that pattern and I'm going to crack it definitely this week so I shall keep you posted on that I'll probably pop, pop lots of posts as well on Instagram so you can follow my progress hopefully progress sometimes I find when I, I'm doing design and that I just come to a, like a I've got this idea in my head of what I want to make and it's all down on my graph paper and I write little notes and maybe pictures and then I get the crochet hook out, get the yarn out and sometimes I can just make it straight away exactly how I wanted it. Just like this, this took no time at all. I completely thought of the of what I wanted it this to look like with the neck and the lower bottom 
and it took me no time at all had it done in maybe two days but the other one it just wasn't going where I wanted it to go so that's why I put it to one side so hopefully when I do go back to it I'll be all refreshed and I will get it cracked so uh, I'll keep you posted on that one I've also got some lovely yarn double knitting yarn this is King Cole yarn and I'm going to have a play with these as well I've got three shades this one is called cool and it's got blues and like yellows and greens and a touch of pink so it's got blues and like goldy yellows greens in that one then I've also got this one which is called autumn and this is more purples and orange and mustard and a touch of green in that one and then I've also got this one which is called juniper which is like pinks and greys and creams so I'm going to be having a play with those three as well not sure what I'm going to make with them but they are double knitting yarn so I may do uh, maybe a snood or a cowl or maybe some more wrist warmers but maybe in arm warmer length so that's what I've got there and I've also got planned for this week let's see if my plans go to plan but this is what I've got planned and I've also got a Sirdar colour wheel yarn cake and this is shade 205 and it's absolutely gorgeous hope you can see that it's got top stone mustard like pumpkin colour, denim blue, greys so I've got two of those and they're 150 gram balls so I've got 300, I've got 300 grams of yarn to play with with that so that's another project I'm planning this week and I think that's it so far I've also been um, running um, a question and answer on Instagram a lovely lady one of my lovely subscribers asked me if I could do maybe a little podcast on more about me and where I get my de design inspirations from so I thought what a brilliant idea so I shall endeavour to do that in the next few days or so hopefully by the weekend so if there's any questions you want to ask me anything at all about me within reason obviously and about my crochet and my crochet design and I would love to be able to answer them for you in that podcast so please feel free to um, ask me in the comments box below in this video or pop on over to my Instagram account Loopy Mabel and you can ask me any questions there and then I'll put them all together and then I'll do a little podcast and try to answer them all for you. So I think that's it for today's little chat. I uh, just wanted to give you an update of what I've been doing and not doing as well. Uh, and I will tackle that other design if it kills me, I swear. And I shall keep you up to date on that. So that's it for this little chat. I'm off now to tackle that other pattern that I never got mastered and... Hopefully I should be able to do another video with the completed design soon. Uh, if there's any other questions you want to ask me in relation to this video, please pop them in the box below. As I say, I'll add the link to the PDF pattern for this honeycomb um, snug and also the links to my Instagram account. As I always say, practice does make perfect. Don't give up and until the next time, happy crochet. Mm.